And we are live and direct from 101555432110. Oh, yeah, baby. Um, now, before we uh, really jump into this week's episode, we obviously need to take a moment of silence for some of our lost ants. Of course, um, yeah, the uh, the old survival guide, eh? Oh. Some of you ants decided <laughs> it was a good idea to go out into nature and face off with these bears and sharks and... Yes, some of the information we gave you was thank slightly you off your, the mark. Thank you for your videos, though. Um, they were a little disturbing. Turns out the fetal position doesn't work. It doesn't. The grizzly bear will still kill you. It turns out taking your clothes off attracts the bear. <laughs> <laughs> bear spray doesn't exist. <laughs> We'd also like to apologize quickly for misinformation given on a wide spectrum of subjects. Uh, I was told that uh, oxygen would have to increase by about 80%, not 8%. For the insects to grow. Do they come here for knowledge, though? I think they do. Yeah, yeah. I feel we're a couple of knowledgeable. I lads. feel like we're a fountain of knowledge for for those less capable. <laughs> I thought you say those less fortunate, <laughs> those less fortunate, stupid people. Either way, what I said and what I might have said that you just said is an insult to the ant. So I apologise for that too. One yeah. thing I have to ask is: this a shirt? It's not actually. It's a scarf. Ooh, lovely. Thanks. I like that. It's uh, of um, Nigerian descent. Culture. Lovely. That's what we give you lovely here. Lovely culture. That's what we give you at the nipple. Come and suckle at the nipple of culture. <coughs> Coughs gradually going, man. Yeah, sounds better. Sounds mm. better. Nice. Still can't breathe when I lay down. It's an issue. Especially when you're trying to like yeah, hug someone and they're like laying on you and you're like, you don't want to ruin the moment. And they're beep, 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 beep. Are you, are you comfy, babe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. Like, oh, God, well. I like the way you just snuck that in. You know when you're trying to when you're trying to hug someone, trying to just cuddle. yeah. We get it. You got a new you got a new I uh, like, in your life. I like <laughs> to cuddle. <laughs> I've always been a cuddler. You got a new queen queen ant in your life. A queen ant. <laughs> we got a new queen ant. God, I can't go a minute without bringing her up. You can't. It's getting tiresome. But God, it's so tiresome. Is there anything worse when someone first starts seeing someone? They're just like, oh my god, dude, it's, it's this so oh. bad. It's so nothing, bad. nothing worse. And I, there's two sides of the spectrum. So if you're single and there's the annoying guy doing that, you're thinking, oh, shut up. Like, I'm bare lonely. And if you've had a girlfriend for five years or six years, you're just thinking, oh, this doesn't last forever. Well, that, you're like, going to hate I'm, us. All I'm thinking, every time you speak, I'm just thinking, for God's <laughs> yeah. sakes, mate, it's not going to last. Yeah? yeah, shut up. So true. Isn't it? <laughs> not, I, not that the relationship won't last, just the happiness won't last. Yeah, hey, bro. <laughs> no, no, the relationship. Fully Hashtag could, could proposing soon. But I'm saying the happiness. We are uh, complete. I remember seeing one girl moaning to another friend, not going to mention his name, about, I was like, oh yeah, like all she wants to do is like sleep with me. Like it's like too much. <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck off. Like, it's like me and my chick have sex once a year. <laughs> <Who's>, <laughs> who said this? I'm saying this to Oh, the, you, to so the, you were saying the, uh, this. Okay. You can probably guess who. Oh, I know who it is, yeah. But yeah, oh, I drank all my tea before we fucking started, man. You had two cups. You're like tea, man. Have you drank both cups? Yep. I'm not eating much, man. I don't know I'm, how I'm, healthy I'm, that I'm is. On a, <laughs> I'm on a strict... Hey, fluids, man. I'm on a strict diet, so I just drink shit tons of water. Now. You know what? That was a joke, bullshit thing, when they had that whole campaign by all the water companies, where it was like, you need to drink two liters of water a day. Blah, 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 blah. You should drink two liters. Yeah, I know, but they, were, they, but they were trying to make everyone feel like they weren't drinking no water and shit. Yeah? It was like, bro, every cup of tea has bare water in it. Oh, they yeah. didn't include all like the coffees, teas, juices and shit. I know it's not pure well, water. Well, some of those drinks can actually dehydrate you. But man, then we're chatting shit to us like we weren't drinking water. I'd say 95% of people don't drink enough water. 95? Mm-hmm. And I include myself in I it. I hope you don't include those people who can't get fresh, clean water. I am including least. them. Well, that's not their fault. That's just, no, guys, you that's need just to be an issue. <laughs> but they got to walk like eight miles for some fresh water. <laughs> Imagine like Evian do like a tour of Africa. Guys, you need to drink <laughs> more water. Look at you. Yeah. Look at the state of you. Look at that pee. <laughs> look, go look at his pee. It's <laughs> fucking orange. <laughs> Camera man, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you watch any? Uh, Good stuff. Good stuff. You watch? I like our documentary chats. Have you have you watched any documentaries of late? I feel like this is just your segue into Louis Ferru. No, I wasn't actually going to bring up <laughs> Louis through, but now you mention it, Jordan. <laughs> Fuck Louis. Do you not like the Louis? No? You don't like Louis? Nah, he's all right. Be the prick. Do you do People I... get a bit angry with me because I don't like Louis through. No, I don't get angry with you. People I, I... do. Everyone's like, what? You don't like Louis through? I just yeah. think he's hilarious, man. Hilarious. Like he do- He did. Uh, this wasn't the one I watched, but he's he did. such a wet blanket. 
Oh yeah, he did one on so uh, on porn, and he goes to the girl's house and he's like talking to her boyfriend. He's like, "So um, today she did a five man finish on her face special," and, and then the guy's <laughs> like, "He's like, how do you feel about it?" And the guy's like, "Well, you know, like not <laughs> great." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you say, man? Awkward question, bro. Do you think you could go out with a, a porn star? Like be be in love with a porn star? I don't know. I mean, it'd be hard work. I imagine. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a tough one. What about a stripper? It's a tough one. I knew a dude whose girlfriend worked in a pub, and <laughs> <laughs> slight leap, but yeah. Huh? Okay, yeah, not quite as bad. <laughs> well, no. What I'm saying is, he. Uh, so I'm just getting barefoot, man. Yeah, don't like this. Socks just, off in my mum's I'm, room. <laughs> I'm taking myself. Well, I've had my socks off in your mum's room plenty of times. Um, yeah, and he, he went to... He, he obviously, like, she'd worked there a while. He'd never been there. I'm getting sweaty on this conversation. So. It's turning you on, isn't it? Yeah, God. <laughs> She's got a raging boner right I'm now. Pitching a tent, that's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, and he went to the to the pub she was working at, and he said he could never go back in afterwards. So when he used to pick her up from work, he'd wait outside because he goes, I've never... He was just like, literally... She was like a good-looking girl as well, man, like proper dying piece. And he was like... Every guy, every drink, oh, do you want a drink, babe? Every guy's checking her out, shouting things at her, and he's just like, fuck this, man. Oh, yeah. He's like, I could not do it. You must get up behind a bar. Like, oh, babe, come here, you little salt. Let's, I mean, look, I don't want to over-egg the omelette, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you just have to wipe the drool off at the end of it. I get a lot of, I get a lot of uh, little halves bought from me from All Day Dave and Box Fresh Bradders, <laughs> right? <laughs> They love it. What's that box fresh bread? Yeah, because he's always got box fresh shoes. I don't know why that my brain went there, but did you ever use the, uh, the what's it called? Um, jelly, porn jelly. Well, our new sponsor, Camagra. Camagra. Get did hard you? and get some. Get hard and get true. <laughs> um, yeah, did you use it? No. What did I tell you last hey, time? Hey, hey. Did you use it? Yes, I used did it. Did you use it? Yes, did you I use used it? it. Did you really? Yes, I used really? it. Really? No. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Don't you winked that. at me, so I said yes. All right, let's do it again. Did you use it? Yeah. How was it? It was good. How long? Well, we banged for about 10 minutes, and then I was in the toilet for about four hours wanking. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively jacking off. <laughs> Fuck, I keep going to my tea, and there's... Oh. There's a little bit of tea left. Well, I'll take advantage of that. Hey, problem. guys, there's a little bit of tea left. Um, no, I haven't used the the old oral jelly Comagra. Um, they sent me a shitload today. Oh, yeah? Being what flavours? I've been hard since 7 a.m. <laughs> it's been a little bit awkward in uh, some scenarios. Yeah, I feel like you make it taste too good, Comagra. So I keep eating these sashes, mm. and I've got no one to bang. I put them on toast. So I'm just walking around with a... I mean, it's more than a half job. You see, if you take Viagra, does it make your dick bigger than usual, or is it just your regular boner for longer? Oh no, this this adds on on average two thirds of the size Ooh. you had to your. So what you got a solid five inch? Oh, hey, am I right? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've come with attitude. Today. You really have a lot of attitude. Attitude. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I I forgot we were. Live and direct. I was about to quote you my real measurements, but I'm going to stop there. Well, the fans <laughs> need to know now. <laughs> I have a 12 inch penis. Around. God, we're on dicks already. We're so God, uncouth. what is wrong with us? I don't us? know. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck's sake. We should restart this. God. But I really like the way we came into it with the whole sorry for the lost ants thing. I that think was, that was a great start. It was a great start. I was planning it for about three days. What? <laughs> Did you figure it? Did you think, yes, comedy yeah, goal. What a start. I had a funny joke, which I'm definitely taking with the strong nose that I have. This guy goes, um, is it a pickaxe where you have like the two long bits either side? It's a pickaxe, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he had a, I think it was like Chris Sutton. He was like talking about his nose. And they, they brought up like another dude with big nose. He goes, if me and him stood back to back, we'd look like a pickaxe. And I thought, I'm taking that joke. That's a good one. It's yeah. a great joke. But who are you standing back to back with? Ooh. Who's got, a, who's got a solid nose in the group apart from me? No one. I think you've got by far, far, Ooh, by the, strongest far the strongest nose. I think I've got the strongest eyebrows. Actually, Kappa challenges Oh, Kappa that. challenges that. Oh, yeah, no. You Kappa's ain't got, got that strong better. eyebrows. No, Kappa's got better eyebrows. Hmm. I'd say me and your eyebrows are very similar. I've got the most singular eyebrow in the group, I'd say. What's that mean? That 
I've got the least amount of eyebrows in the group. Most people have two in the group. I've only got one. Oh, you're so <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what you're talking about there. Took you a while there, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you just like sweating? What are you doing? Right I'm now? sweating profusely. Why? Because this fucking oral jelly is really heating me up. You are sat next to a heater. Inside. Why don't you move this heater away from you a bit? There you go. Yeah, you take the heater. That's a wise. That's why I barefooted up so I could uh, get involved. Spread and stuff. God's sakes. Yeah, I watched. Get your foot uh, away from me. It's I watched. Like, big and hairy. Hairy? Oh, it's a little Look hairy. The state of that. So that. That's a hobbit foot. That's <laughs> a hobbit foot. Look at the state of that foot. Oh, I can't lick it. Oh, my God. Get hey, it out of my eye line. Touch my foot, man. No. Just touch my foot. You touch the foot. <laughs> By foot, I mean dick. Oh, God. This is, po- this is not going well, this episode. Hey, why? Because foot- there's been at least four different dick subjects. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's go for now. No more dicks. No what more did dicks. you think of three billboards? Oh, we coming on to that? Yeah, just because you watched it the other day. Oh, look go at me. I hard. watched it. Let's go in hard on three billboards. Fantastic. Yeah. All you ants, go out there. Catch it. See, let me see if yours was oh, similar to go. mine. And I got told this was harsh. Rate it out of 10. Oh, I personally, I thought it had everything. Really? Mm-hmm. See, I gave it a 7.5 and then got told that was harsh. That is harsh. Well, it's not harsh. That's your I don't think it is. is. Because if well, you take not, best of the best, you, you Shawshank you want, Redemption is a 10. It's not one of the best films of all time. Which is a 10. You only say that about Shawshank because it stood the test of time. Nah, Shawshank is fucking... For me, that's my favorite film of all time, Shawshank. I know it's, it's like a such great a film. Uh, my my, I personally, my in some ways, I'd say my favorite film of all time is Gump. Mm. Forrest just kept running, bro. You know what I mean? It's definitely up there. My man ran things. Gump's definitely up there. Oh, love it, love it, because everything happens. He does everything. Do you think um, she'll win like a bunch of Oscars? The main woman. Yeah. Well, what, what's her name? She'll win an Oscar. Um, God, I forgot. Look up her name. Jeez. Oh, do you know who's amazing? You know uh, her husband's new girlfriend? Amber. <laughs> Who the fuck is she, man? Anger begets anger. Yeah, that was a classic. <laughs> oh, look up her as well, man. I need to see her. I need to see the main actress. Just calm down. Sorry. Sorry. I've had a lot of this raspberry jelly. You know who jelly. I really liked? Um, Red as well, the uh, the advertising guy. He was a cool dude. Really? God, you I barely noticed him. He had the most me- <laughs> like what, uh, what was good about him, sorry. I'm not gonna it was, a, good, it, was, a, it was a great cameo performance. Oh right, okay. It's all right. I, I feel like I could have done that. Oh what you, should we watch should we watch Fast and Furious Nine? I, that I, is your favourite I, film. I feel like Fuck I could have done I could I feel like I could have given an equally good performance, man. Well that's Ooh, what's, you're what's the IMDB? Eight R eight point three. What did you think it was? I thought it was seven point three. No. Um, Francis McDormand is the main lady. Francis? Yeah. You have a man's name, Francis. What about the, the girl? Oh, the dwarf in it as well. He he was good. Peter man. Dinklage, bruv. Come uh, who, on. who was the girl who played uh, the the new girlfriend? Oh, God, are we really looking for her? Yes, I want her up on Google Images. I don't Images. care who she is. I care a lot. She was funny in it, though, though. She was more than funny. Oh, grow up. You're so vile. Why? I'm appreciating her role. You're not. You're appreciating her physique. Google her too, fellas. <laughs> oh. um, her name is... Was it Angela? No, it was there. Her. Go left. Left her. That's her. No, that's Penelope. Yeah, that was her. Oh, was her name Penelope? I don't fucking know. I thought her name was Amber. Click on her. We'll you see watched that. it the other day, that's bro. That's her. That's her. Is it? Yes. Samantha Weaving. Go Go over to her images. Calm down. Holy shit. Is that her? Oh, it is yeah. her. Right. Oh, her name was Penelope. She oh, looked... Oh, Amber, go, go to far right at the top. Down. No, down, down. In the... Yeah, there. Yes. Australian celebrity Saman- Samara this Weaving. Is the, uh, yeah, okay. We get it. We get it. We get it. She is... Sam Rockwell's a goon as well. And Woody. Woody's just touching. Touches you to your heart, to your bone. The, so the letter bit that I was telling you about... Um, when he's reading out that like letter, yeah, yeah, no, no that spoilers was, that, there, bro. That was the bit where I nearly could have cried, and then mm. someone's fucking phone went off. Yeah, man. that's poor. 
It does kill the moment. You know, in the adverts, like, it, it'll ruin the don't, film. I never I thought... Eh, don't you something. remember when we went to watch the Arsenal 89 film? Yes. And there was a 10-minute bit about Hillsborough, and it oh. got pretty silent and emotional. I nearly cried And then. then the phone went off for... And I'm not going to lie, that was the longest I've ever heard a phone go off in a cinema. This as well. It went... the f- Like, fuck, man. Okay, so say my phone rings out. Brr, brr, phone out, silent. It actually, took for One of the worst to ones I've off. seen, actually, was uh, a certain... A certain um, Jimmy Mac. Oh, that at bloody war. But you know what it is as well? That, that guy that, took time. That was a standard <laughs> ring, yeah. But they always have these like shitty ringtones, like like, yeah, with, yeah, like an old were... crap song that like, no one listens to. Like, what the fuck, man? This one, you know what it was? It was like, uh, you know a spring where it goes, bring, bring like, you know what was the best one it... ever? When we were sitting our sats <laughs> in year nine. I don't even remember. Um. Bro, the whole year in the hall doing like a maths exam, and at the back of the of the whose phone was that? Back of the hall room, Hisham's phone. He's oh like, really? I was getting some head, getting <laughs> getting some head. Really? I was getting some head, and Kappa just stood up on his desk in the middle of the fucking. <laughs> everyone's doing that test. Kappa just stood up and just started <laughs> raving. <laughs> I remember I looked over at him and I thought I'm gonna make that guy my friend. Cap used to be fucking jokes at school. Man. He did some hilarious shit. Legend, like, legendary, legend of the game. Do you remember they had that bullshit rule where it's like if your phone goes off in your bag, you'll get your uh, paper ripped up, mm. and it never used to happen. Like never used to happen. Like I got caught talking in uh, exams and they just said like, like they'd like point at you and just say like no. Yeah. They never really. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, man. They, the phones with the list of their worries, man. I remember showing up the German tests, yeah, where where they tell you what you had to do before, right? You oh. had to write this essay about Yeah, they'd always say it's going to be yeah, on. Yeah, on some subject. And I'd just write the essay at home, come in, and just literally put the essay on my desk and just mm-hmm. copy it onto the sheet they gave us. Yeah. And because you were so bait about it... Everyone it's just not wa- bait. Yeah, it's not bait at all. Mm-hmm. They're just looking at it like, oh, right, you've just got... I, I've paper. had... F- I, I used to I write, so cool. I used to write things all the way up my arm, like, everywhere, mm-hmm. like, and just have, like, your blazer on, man. But now they've got smartwatches and fucking Google glasses. Yeah, fuck, now it must be so easy to cheat on a test. I bet there's so many ways you can cheat now. They reckon end of next year, uh, well, some company are going to beat Google to get, get in the contact lenses. Uh, then it's game over, mate. Yeah. Your contact lens. You're just it's in your brain. We're just going to be stupid, though. Or we won't. We just won't have to worry about facts in the same way ever again because they'll just be readily available in, the, in that way. School is a weird you know, thing, Einstein though, anyway. Einstein always said, don't bother remembering anything that you can look up. He goes, I, I don't bother remembering things that I can look up easily. That's kind of stupid, though. Nice G'd out. Is it? Well, if you're yeah, at work, sa- you need to saving, know something. You have to yeah, but he's saving space out. in his brain for the real thinking, isn't it? For figuring sh- shit out, you know what I mean? For thinking about stuff, like, critically. Rather I was reading the other day about, do you know when you die? Mm. Apparently, in America, they, they automatically print out 250 funeral cards because the average person will know 250 people. Did you know that? Who automatically... Princess shit. Like the funeral home. What do you mean? So you call them up saying my man's died, yeah? They'll print out 250 cards. Fair. What, like invites? Yeah, or just like what from the service or whatever. The, that's the, what they go on. They say the average person will know 250 people. Well, I probably know way more than that, but I probably only want like a, fir- like a, a tenth of that at my funeral. Well, Actually, yeah, no, I couldn't care less. When I say no, I mean as in you've had some like interaction with them, and uh... yeah, way more than two fifty. Two hundred fifty people is like, a lot of people, man. We had like four hundred people in our year, and I'd say I talked to all of them for longer than five yeah, minutes. Yeah, they're not coming to your freaking funeral. Not necessarily. Might do. I might pop in if you died. Maybe. I wonder if I'd give a speech if you died. Say if you died tomorrow, would I have to talk at your funeral? It'd be completely up to you. But what if everyone wants to speak? You've got to draw the line somewhere. Well, then you have like the, um, what they do, what's the thing that they have after in English things? English funerals? After the funeral, you have a... 
Awake. 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 Um, In English. <laughs> whatever. Like, I forget your no, French The, is the Jews right. have a shiva, which is seven days. You come over to the person's seven house. Seven days? Yeah, so people come to your yard for seven days. Every after. day for seven days? Yeah. Jesus. And it's, but they like say prayers it's and intense. they just sit there. It's very like, like deep. No, it's not really like a drinking thing. Wakes, usually people get lick up and stuff. Yeah, they do. Um, I've been to that many but then, funerals. But then I think w- I've been to like four. Well, at wakes, people just chat, really. But I've I've been to a few wakes where there's some speeches at the wake. No, I'm trying to think now. I can't really remember. We had a fat dude at my granddad's funeral, yeah, who, like, no one knew who he was. Like, Did he speak? No, but he came to, like, the after bit, and he the literally, he legit ate this whole cheesecake, yeah, just sat a scoffing. I remember you saying this. Yeah. No one knew who he was. And then when he cut, it must be like a thing, because someone went, see you at the next funeral, Jeffrey. So he, he, his name stuck to me as Fat Jeffrey. Fat Jeff. Fat Jeff. What a snake. Just parades around eating people's cheesecake. Do better. I was thinking as well, like, have some shame. You're every bit of 26 stone, man. There's a salad over there, Jeff. <laughs> Plus, I wanted some of that fucking cheesecake. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what pissed me off the most. What a snake. What a snake. Yeah. But yeah, wakes are... um. Yeah, wakes are usually more drinking. But I've always been at, like, old people's funerals. Um, the majority. So, yeah. like, they're not really, like... Yeah, people aren't getting like smashed and singing songs. Yeah, so when a young person dies, that's when it's more like. Mm. Well, it's because no one knows how to deal with it except for by like numbing themselves. Just numb. I've been so numb so long. (laughs) (laughs) I've become so numb. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I want to tell you about my uh, my new views on hunting, man. Uh, Okay. I thought like it was going to be controversial. Some new hunting. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So I was watching this uh, this documentary, and it's all the American, majority is of Americans. This is Louis Ferry. This is the Louis Ferry, available on Netflix. Old ferret. And I was like, oh, the same view most people have, like they're shooting these animals. I'm like, this is fucking pointless. Da, da, da. Mm. And I still don't agree with hunting. I still think it's stupid. And it's always this like, fat, loose, like, oh, my God, feel my heart. Oh, my God. So, shut up. You're a moron, yeah. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Go get on a uh, treadmill, bro. I want to kill <laughs> a zebra. I want to kill a lion. So, fuck off, you weirdo. And then he's like, like Louis saying, so, like, they breed these animals for the purpose of them releasing them into the wild so they can be killed, yeah? Yeah. And it all just seems very pointless. And it is pointless. And it is fucked up. But then the 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 main guy who owned the place made a good point. He was like... I now have the op- the opinion that if you're going to eat meat, yeah, every single day and you're going to eat all these animals, then you can't really then get bare butt hurt when other people go around shooting other animals. Like he was like, you eat chickens every day, yeah? Okay, those chickens are force fed, kept in cages, they're not allowed to move, then someone will walk in, strangle it to death and then you'll go eat that, yeah? Fucking horses that get slaughtered that we think are other animals. Like all this shit and all these animals, like we don't treat them well. And we eat them. Yeah, and we're so we're yeah, they so ain't detached. Eating these things they're hunting, though. they're just killing it for the sake of. No, killing they do it. eat them. Do they? Yeah. So what they do is when after these dudes kill like a zebra or whatever, it, I don't know about like a lion, they sell that as meat to the local people. And I, I just mm. it, it, I don't agree with hunting, but he made a legit point. I was like, he's so true. Like, why? Where do you draw a line between what's cruel and what's not cruel? Is it cruel to do that to one animal, not the other? And then when he said that, I thought, do you know what? It's true. I can't sit here and feel bad for this for these animals because I eat animals every single fucking day. I don't know who killed them or where they were from. And then the guy said to Louis, he was supposed to kill one of the animals and he didn't. And he's like, okay, so you'll eat the meat, but you won't kill it. Like, cool. Like that's just you, isn't it? I remember, and I was like, yeah, he's kind of got a point, man. Like, I'm not going to go to a fucking enclosure and shoot an animal for no reason. But we are so detached from where our food comes yeah, from. Yeah, no, we are. But it's 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 there's nothing wrong with wanting things to be better. But the the whole okay, if I if I eat meat, yeah, mm. saying that I don't agree with sort of sport hunting. Uh-huh doesn't necessarily it, it, it's it might be a little hypocritical but really it's just saying that i just want shit to be a bit better rather than being the guy who's like well you're eating it and i'm killing it so let's just keep killing and keep eating. i think people have like very it's like he said he goes people see you shoot the animal oh my god no 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 and he's like they don't even like understand it or look into it and like the guy who owned the thing he was saying like yeah of course i fucking like do you, do you remember it where he gets like really angry with louis 
And he's like, you've asked me fucking 20 times now. Like, do... He's like, yes, I love the animals. He goes... So, for example, he made the point of this. He goes, we're now not allowed to kill elephants because of public perception. He's like, oh, no, the poor elephants. He goes, do you understand if an elephant comes to, like, a village, he goes, they eat everything. He's like, people will literally die because the elephant will eat all their crops, everything. He's like, if we don't kill these elephants, we're going to die. And I just think people would have a very different point of view if they were in, yeah, then in that position. Yeah, like, but there's like 500,000 elephants and like 8 billion humans. Yeah, but you wouldn't be saying that if you were fucking going to die. If your mum was like, Jordan, we're going to die because that elephant's really cute and we're not going to kill it. Yeah, but who's killing it? What, the elephants? Yeah. The it, local it, people. It, when the elephants come to their village, they kill them. All right, that's a different thing though. Yeah. That's, that's but now he's what he's saying is there's laws now like where they can't hunt. no but hunt. no but sport there's now hunting. laws where they can't do that because people are like, oh my god it's so cruel da, da, da. and he was saying like of course i fucking love us but he was like you've got to understand he's like before before uh this became like a thing like game hunting yeah he was like all of this like wasn't here he was like so zimbabwe he used the example all they don't have any animals there anymore because everyone killed them all to for, for food yeah. sport he's like because of hunting, this pays for everything you see. And he's like, now all these animals who, who were um, going to become extinct, now he's like, we have like so much more of them because this pays for that. Yeah, no, I know that. So he said for every... How the hunting actually Yeah, so he goes for every time. 10 lions um, that are born, he goes, we'll keep nine of them which are hunted and one of them we send off. One of them we send off, we do that of all the animals. Mm. So they're constantly breeding, constantly like being populated. It's yeah, so fucked up to think like that pays so for it. Fucked up anyway, bro. They're just they're funding it to keep killing it. Like it's a weird. It, it is it's weird. So it's but so without like, them, a lot of these animals would go extinct. That is what's fucked up. Yeah. So what do you do? Like, if you do you say okay, no more? Okay, cool. But then the, all the people that are saying no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Are you gonna go and pay for these animals? No. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know either. I agree. I like when, when I see this dude in a little shack and he's like shooting a zebra, I'm like, why, man? Like, it's so stupid. I cannot see the fun or excitement in doing it myself. I can't. No, I can't at all. But it's just, I, like, it's just not for me. Like, I couldn't just shoot a zebra. Why, I man? feel like Zebra's just like... shooting some bottles is like just as fun. Yeah, that's not what it is. They're, they're, they're like, oh, it's the hunt, man. It's I need the to primal. take away his life. And it's so like... It's so cowardly and easy. Like like Louis was saying, he's like, it's a fake experience. Yeah. So the guy who owns it goes, back in the day, he goes, before this existed, we'd go hunting and he goes, if you shot one animal in four months, you'd had a good season. Mm. Now he's like, you could come here, shoot a zebra, a lion and a baboon in one day. Yeah, no, yeah. So it's a fake experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a saturated, <laughs> like fucking commercial thing. You know? Yeah. Um, I remember watching one about these like, african dudes and they build like this mud hut that they hide in in the middle of like god knows what desert mm. and they're waiting for i think i think they wanted to kill like a lion or something to eat it and um but they're, they're in this little hut for like four weeks <laughs> they, they don't eat for four weeks they got like they got like a couple nuts but they just sit in there they just you see that they, like they go in there skinny but when they come out they are so skinny mm. and they get it in the end but four weeks they just eat the lion out though. Huh? Do they eat lion? I think they take it back to the village, yeah. Eat it, I guess. It is might it not be a lion. I don't know what it was. Yeah, about. whatever it was. Is whatever it illegal? It was, it w- what, uh. Is it illegal to eat lion? You never hear about people eating lion meat. I don't feel like we can make rules for the Africans. I don't feel like no. we can say, hey, man, it's you in the little hut in the country that we've raped repeatedly. Yeah? But that's what We're I'm making s- a rule for your country. But that's, that's not but how But that's it works. my point about the elephant thing. Yeah. Who are we to say no? That's cruel. Like you yeah. go and live there and yeah. let him yeah. eat everything you've ever worked for. Like yeah. it's literally the equivalent of you of an elephant coming and eating your business. Mm-hmm. That is how they make a living. Like, but that's it. These it, uh, too many people are like they're PC and like oh you know that's, you shouldn't be doing that. Da, 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 da. But like okay then go go out there and fucking build a wall for the village so the elephants can't come mm-hmm. in and fund the protect. Well, like them, he said it? as well, he goes so the lions that he's breeding to be killed. He Louis like do you love your lions? He goes no. And he goes, oh, why not? And he goes, go and walk by. So they're throwing in food to him. He goes, go and walk by that uh, fence and see how much love you feel. And he walks down the side of this lion straight away, growl at him, wants to kill him. Because mm. if this fence wasn't here, he'd eat you. Yeah. Like, we, we, we humanize these animals, but, like, they don't have feelings how we have feelings. To- like, 
not animals have things, but I'm saying like a lion's not looking at you thinking, oh, oh, like bless, like he's a nice guy. No, he'll kill you, man. Like, yeah, but I can't have a guy who's got a lion in a cage tell me about how he ain't getting no love from the lion. Yeah, but it's all the lions ever know. Yeah, but so what? So the lion. Why should he give him love, bro? No, he shouldn't. He's, he's still conscious, bruv. He's still aware that there is a fence there and that he can see a lot of space he can't go into. Well, no, this is the whole point. So they get released into the giant wild. That's what they do. What, to be hunted. So this is why they don't do it. So apparently if you go and... Say if you go somewhere in Africa to go and... Ca- so a lion, he was saying, is probably about $50,000, yeah? Mm. He goes, why people come to these places? If you go out and catch a wild lion, yeah? He's like... A lion doesn't just look like this amazing creature. He's like, his face will be covered in scars and marks. And like, do you know what I mean? It will look fucked up. Yeah. Because they fight because they're hungry. Because if you keep, uh, if you keep lions fed and like they're never hungry, he's like, they don't fight. So they're just happy. Mm. They just, they'll do their thing. They'll eat, blah, blah, blah. So his lions are literally like perfect looking lions. Yeah. So that's why people want them. Because they want, the whole point of these fucking weirdos who trophy hunters, they want that picture of them holding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is what I don't get as well. I was thinking, if I put a picture of me having just shot a lion on my Facebook, do they not get abused? Like, We have different friendship circles. Yeah. And they do get abused. People find it and like that's shame what I'm saying. them yeah, like they, Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I think it's fucked up. But I did just like, when he said that, I just thought, yeah, it's very hypocritical to be sitting here judging people when I eat yeah. food, meat every day. That's just what I think. But... but but I can judge the white man who decides to go off to Africa to get a hunting experience. Like he's not, I don't know, bro. It's, it's it, it, either you care or you don't care. Like if you give a shit and you got money, then go, then go put some money in. There's a lot of animal charities out there doing a good thing. Like mm. you don't have to fund it through killing it. Okay. You get your kick out of that, but clearly it's a bit of a sadistic Well, I think kick. the more, the more disturbing thing, or what's more disturbing than these guys going to do it is the fact that that is the industry that is keeping these animals alive. That's more disturbing to me. Well, that 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 reflects sort of in a bad way on humanity. Uh-huh. It shows that it's just like everyone, unless there's something for us there, we ain't really interested in helping it. Well, if the, this is the thing, it's like so. That's what I'm saying. To you. Like, if you don't eat meat and you don't uh, buy into any of that, then yeah, you can you can say that. Or if you actively do things to help these animals or if you it's like with all these issues that people have like such a strong opinion on but they don't do anything towards um like rectifying that situation do you know what i mean like they 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 just had these uh, like because i started watching and i thought it, i had the same thing i was like oh, this is fucked up it's fucked up but then when he started explaining it, i was like who am i to tell this guy how to live his life i don't know what his culture is or how his life is yeah no it's, it's it there's yeah there's a lot to be said for that as well hmm. But I also don't understand the fat loser in the tent shooting a zebra in the face. So it's like, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a double whammy. It's a double whammy. It's a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. Then I watched Louis Fru on Swingers. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was very interesting as well. Okay. Well, I mean, the Swingers life does seem like it could be a laugh. Yeah? Yeah. You down for a little swing? <laughs> nah. Me and you show up, man. Should yeah. we? Yeah, why not? Because <laughs> I feel like we'd have to go to a gay one. If we showed up together. I feel like there's no rules applying these things, man. They just, they're very... Uh, we just show up as a, as a gay couple, but don't touch any of the men. <laughs> 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 hey, girls, we're looking for a new experience. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it was good, man. Go watch that. It was interesting. You've seen it before, right? No. Oh, have you not seen it? No. I don't <clears> watch <throat> Louis Farouk because I'm put off by... Louis Farouk. I want you to watch it though, just to see what you think. I'd like, yeah, I'd no, like I to should see give Louis Farouk. I'd like, I'd like to see what you, uh, what you think about. It. Oh, I'm taking these microphones off. Headphones. Yeah. Right. What did I say? Microphones. Microphones. Yeah, I would. I'd be interested to see what you have to say about it. Though. Yeah, I mean, I'd be. Uh, I feel like you've explained it pretty well, though. Cheers, mate. Um, Appreciate it. But we'll let the uh, the ants uh, confirm that in the comment sections, as always. Yes, ants. Stop commenting, you little fucks. Yeah, why are you always commenting? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Scram. <laughs> <laughs> I re-listened to. Uh, I don't. I don't normally re-listen to our things, but I did re-listen to uh, Survival, the Survival episode. Oh yeah, good, 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 uh, good, uh, good stuff. Yeah, it's cracking me up. <laughs> I'm a natural on the mic. You are. Just what I do. Natural. 
comedian, Ew. natural leader. You carry yourself in a very charismatic, wholesome way. Correct. Yeah. I'm like Drake. It was <laughs> what we said before we came on the thing. He's just charismatic. <laughs> That's me. Just, next Drake. Yeah. 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 You're white, next up, mate. The white Drake. The white Drake. Drake is kind of, he's white and black, though. Do you, have you ever seen that thing with Drake where Ooh, that, girl, that girl got a Drake tattooed across her forehead? Yeah, how and he's messed like, up with that? He's like, he's like, I'd love to meet her, man, and like know her story. And then he's like, I'd also love to meet a tattooist and beat the fuck out of him. So yeah, so true. Hey, you want to uh, read your emails? Sorry, on sorry, I thought no, I just No, you're got... busy. Sorry, mate. We boring you, are we? No, no, no. Okay, I just got an yeah. email back from one of the labels. Oh, what are they saying? I don't know. They were just saying, I don't know. I'll read it later. You're not worth it, you fucking arsehole. How's your yeah, label? We're branching search, out, guys. Right? We're branching out. We're gonna get signed soon. How's your label search gone? Ah, it's um, it's all right. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Getting there. Getting there. I perfected my CV the other night. I thought you did a really. Sh- oh, did you come back to it? Well, so this is what happened. Weirdly, so I had my rushed CV, yeah, which I was using. This is what I do. I rush things. Um, and then Shortcutter. I went on uh, one of these. I can't remember what it was now. It was like an agency website. Yeah. That you have to sign up to. And I'd already signed up to it and already had my CV on it. And I clicked oh, on nice. it. And there was just this Bonus. amazing CV, which had everything except for all my uni shit. So it was obviously one I'd done a few years back. And it was so, I think uh, Lil done it for me. Because it was like, it looked like a girl. It was all like organized and neat and like amazing. So I was like, hell yeah. So I just added all my uni shit. Nice. Added a few more little touches, a few more lies. And uh, very nice. Off we went. So I'm happy with it now. It looks good. Excellent. I can't fit it on more than, I always have like three pages. Though, so I'm afraid you're going to get, you're going to go into some deep career now. And uh, traveling's going to be off. Yeah. See, this is my worry. But it's like, okay. Do you I know, apply life, for a life career goes. job or just a yeah. shitty job no, to you go? Do. You do. You do. Yeah. You just see what happens. You do. We, you just live life day yeah. by day. I agree. Mm-hmm. Also, I mean, fingers. I mean, to tell you, I'm proposing. Traveling's off, bro. I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can think is, I feel I'm just hoping well, the fingers are crossed for an email back that says, hey, man, you're a genius. We're going to sign you for a 12, <laughs> yeah. 12 album deal. So, uh, <laughs> but do they get like, like, say, like a label? Will they get like thousands of people yeah. sending their music to them? Yeah, oh, it's so hard to stand out. Isn't so it? hard, it really is. Yeah, but um, I got a reply from a couple of people, and the and they they liked it, but they just they you know they said what I knew. It's which like was good it feedback. Needs to, but it, needs work, it needs yeah. it needs to get more. Defined. Is um, is that the best way to go about it? So tell the people what you're doing, bro. Like people don't know. The people need to know. The people need to know. Well, I've been making some music for the past seven or eight years. Wait, I feel like I'm interviewing now. So uh, what's the and, what's, uh, uh, what's the take message? The <laughs> 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 what's it he says? That is it, isn't it? Lucas, <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the meaning behind the, it? The meaning behind it is that we're all ants. <laughs> Why don't you have uh, a song just called The Ant, bro? Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working oh, okay. on it. So yeah, so what's the best so you're trying to sort of like get your music? Well, I've 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 had a I've made a couple tracks lately that feel a little bit more uh, in the right direction. So I thought let's see what the feedback is on why this don't from you different just labels. Do, why don't you just do what um will eventually this and just put it on your Facebook and then instantly a thousand people see it. And then I and then you say mm. you give it to me, I put it on my Facebook, another thousand people see it. Listen to John's thing. Da, da, then you're instantly getting it to like thousands of people. Yeah, sort of. Why don't you just do that? Because you don't really get much. I mean, yeah, I, I tried that though. You know what I mean? I've done. I did that a few years ago. Yeah, but be more nothing. like vo- like you just put it up. I remember you didn't like have a thing that like, oh guys, I've been working this. For I a while. did. I did write that. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Got like three likes, and then and then <laughs> I, and then and then someone hacked my Facebook and wrote, "Just got accepted into the <laughs> school of Jew dance. I'm so glad." And I got like. 500 likes fucking joke 500 that's a mad someone push. someone po- someone posted um uh i put a picture up with ryan and jack and they're holding yeah, yeah, baby yeah, and, yeah. I, and I, i'd put like a uh, hashtag happy couple hashtag gay marriage and it got like 50 likes and i was thinking i scrolled down i was like normally my pictures of me like tensing in a mirror get like four it's, <laughs> bullshit, man. it's bollocks man god the yeah. like game nah i mean Day by day, and day by day, making some videos as well, so it's all good. Yeah, I want to see this video that you won't show me. Did oh, you, that video! Did yeah. you ever I'll send me uh, the song I asked you to send me? Yeah, I sent you a couple songs. Let me have a quick birch because I delete conversations. This so. right, I've resend them in it, mate. Don't, don't worry. Yeah, you. please do. Oh. I mean, do you know what? Like when you first did that album, yeah. 
I thought it was going to have to be the polite, like, no, it's really good when really it isn't. But genuinely, you were actually sick. I'm thinking like, yeah, fuck, you're actually good, man. It, it was like this. Like, there was, like, like when I say about this, there was a few little things where, like, to me, it sounded weird, but it's because I know you. Yeah, of course. But to someone else, it would just sound normal. Yeah, no, it, it, it wasn't. It was, it was, I was, I was. You feel like you've got better. Well, no, I feel like the lyrics have always been good, but. I feel like the delivery and how comfortable I am doing it has never been. But there. when you write things, like you're such a good writer. I always say to my mum, I'm like, he's amazing writer. Like I showed her the uh, the description you did for the last video, and I was like, he can just write good. Like you just write well. Like the things you man writes good. You get me. The things you write just sound sick, man. Well, you just go I blind like and let God like do his thing. God, I've just so vocally talented. Yeah, one day we'll write a series, a film. We're gonna we're gonna cover all. We're, we're taking over media. We're we changing started it. writing a script. We're changing. Just it. Never, it never got there, man. Yeah, it just but never... we still got books, bro. Like with notes and stuff. Like it will come around. I'm For some you, reason, I, this, this is shit, probably I'm complete bullshit. I just feel shit. like I need to be traveling in order to write. I can't imagine we'll get much written traveling. Although getting drunk in the hotel room every night. Yeah, we just start bumming. I mean, we just... <laughs> sorry, that slipped out. We just start drinking and just partying with chicks. And like, you know. No, we wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. We're a man of culture. We'd play chess. Chess. Smoke a cigar. Check us. Check us. Do you think you'd bun if you went travelling? Or do you think you'd nah. be like, fuck this, I'm cutting down? It'd be the perfect time. i cut down massively. Well, I'd, I'd get it. So if, if, it if the opportunity was that easy, I'd obviously end up... I feel there. like travelling could be the, the time you stop smoking weed. Could be. That's that what done it for me. Could be. I feel like it could be for you. Yeah. I fluctuate still with that. Sometimes I think one day I'll stop. Sometimes I think I'll bum forever because I do love it so much. Yeah. It's a funny thing trying to give up something that you love. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because there's some addictions like if you're like a heroin addict, yeah, you want to give it up, but it's something that's fucking up your life. So like you have the motivation to give up, but it's also you have a true addiction. Whereas with a lot of people who I talk to smoke weed, it's like they love smoking weed. Yeah. It's like when Rogan tried to give up, he's like, but I love weed, man. Like It's so great. Yeah. But at the same time, I know things would probably be different or, or in, is in it, kind of a positive way. Or is it like you always think the grass is greener? Like No, nah, I think I think a hundred percent in it in, in a lot of aspects I'd yeah. be in a better place. Yeah. Well, I see it with some people like um I think the same could be said for most people really. I think it I think it I think when you stop it forces you to be more sociable because mm. say on like a weekend or like a night, like a lot of people we know who smoke, it's just oh cool, I'll just stay in and smoke, yeah. Whereas when you don't do that, sitting in and doing nothing is just boring. So you go out and you meet people. Now, that's what it changed for me. Like I yeah. definitely became more sociable after well, I Well, I know that from the few times I've stopped for a couple of weeks and that I get so much energy. I just want to do stuff all the time. Suddenly I can't, I don't want to sit still. Well, that's what you've always said. It's like, like for you and for me, a huge one is like, it makes it okay to do nothing Yeah. because you're just high. So you just sit there and you're high and you're like, oh, this I is fun. I could stare at for hours. Yeah, because you're just zonked out, isn't mm-hmm. it? But then when you're not high, you can't do that. You get bored. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. So you have to go and like do shit. Whether that's productive or not, that's like, down to you but you still yeah just... but that's it it's down to yeah yeah for sure like, I, just, I don't do what's right for you guys take drugs <laughs> i just don't buy the idea like you stop and then like your whole world becomes amazing like, i think that's like unrealistic not you personally i'm saying yeah, in yeah, general yeah, yeah. i think that's unrealistic do you know yeah. what i mean 100 we were talking about doing a uh did i tell you about the documentary on all the different things giving up so yeah, call, yeah yeah that'd be a cool doc addiction call it addiction then it's different stories of everyone trying to give up mm-hmm. uh, different things yeah talking of giving up addictions my gambling excursions my god my god silly silly, silly. boy silly i'm an idiot god. well you Sat- know. huh it was a it was a it was a flutter a once in a it was a flutter, but do you know what? It's you know what's scary about gambling is that, and, and it's the mindset I I always said I never had, but once you lose a bit, do you keep going for more? Do you keep going for more? I did have that a little bit. I was like, do I keep going? Yeah, because it's 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 such a bitch of a fucking thing where you think you can get it all back. Mm-hmm. It can actually, because it can. Do you know what else I've noticed up, about so. uh, uh, gambling is that. This might not necessarily be true, but just from like my perspective, if you have an addiction to like something like 
um, like alcohol or like a drug, I feel like people are more sympathetic than if you have a gambling addiction. Like when it's gambling, I think people just think, oh, you're just stupid because it's like money and they're like, oh my God, like they can't fathom spending that themselves on it that they just think, oh, you're a fucking moron. Yeah, it's money and also it doesn't have the substance element to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's almost like, to some extent well, that's not you true because you some people get like a rush out of doing yeah, it yeah but to some extent you can't be faulted for being like your compass mentis te- technically you know what I mean you're not high you're not drunk you're not on drugs you no, I don't know man you get definitely people get like a high they get like an adrenaline yeah rush, they get an like, adrenaline rush but it's yeah but people don't see that. I'm, the, I'm not thinking oh, oh right, he got yeah, a, yeah 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 like I'm from the you. outsider perspective yeah you've just done that like you've made that decision yeah. off your own like, I told my mom she was like, I mean it's the same with everything else but I told my mom she was like you're such an idiot mm. I was like fuck I am an idiot yeah but again your mum <laughs> has her reasons to know but then like uh, um so I was telling someone else and they were like, oh, but like, you only just done it once. Like, why is it so bad? Like, mm. so there's like different ways of looking at exactly. it. Exactly. I mean, I, as long I, as you, you genuinely learn a lesson from it and you're not thinking, right, I'll win that money back next week. Nah, see, that's what I mean. I don't so have that in right. me. I don't have that. And like, I'm rich as fuck. So it wasn't the end of the world. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, so, I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so rich. I'm so just so rich. So it's like, for so, like, so when you said something like that, say, say, the amount I lost was a lot, but it's not going to affect my life. Yeah. Hashtag 10 grand. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it wasn't 10 grand. Shut up. 10 grand, I would probably jump off a bridge. Five, 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 five. Or if it was five, 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 I'd probably still jump off a bridge. Mm-hmm. Imagine I just came to you. I was like, Jordan, I've gambled every penny I have saved. All my savings, everything. Well, I don't, I'd be so sad for you and disappointed. Look at I me. How you look I at mean. me. Give me the, give me the eyes. This is what I do. I go, I go. <sighs> shit, man. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, but the eyes aren't sad enough there. Your You'd eyes are dead. Just trying not to judge, like. Mm, fuck, man. You're an idiot. <laughs> God, it is bad, though, man. Some people must. I Fucking see. Uh, I'm, I never get watching a poker game. This dude lost 100 grand. And, like, normally when they lose 100 grand, like, they kind of act like they don't care. And I guess. Some of them are just trying to be big headed, but some of them yeah. it is probably not a lot to them. This dude was like, looked like he was going to cry. And <laughs> when he left the table, the guys were like, yeah, he that every penny he owned was like on this table. Uh, wasn't it? So literally that hundred grand was his life. Like, Poor idiot. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. You don't feel so. I don't either. I don't feel sorry for me either. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Idiot. But you'd feel sorry for a heroin addict, right? No, not really. Would you not? What if he did? What do you mean? What did the heroin addict do? Like, like? who's who who spent all his money on heroin and he's in the street crying oh. and he can't stop? Like, no, I feel I mean, like you'd have more sympathy for that than the yeah. Dude I'd have more gamble. sympathy yeah. for it, but I still wouldn't be like I still be like you're a fucking idiot. So would I. I I'm I'm like that. I, I don't really. Sympathize. You'd have more sympathy because they'd look more broken and they'd be all disheveled and they'd be yeah. genuinely like f- feeling mad emotion. They'd be like, <laughs> that's the other thing with gambling though. You can't see it like. Like if 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 you're say you're an alcoholic, yeah, yeah, I can see you that you're an alcoholic. Yeah, you're yeah, drunk yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, you look yeah, disheveled, yeah. like you dress like shit. All right, <laughs> uh, know, uh, meth addict, you have holes in your face. <laughs> you're holes ugly in as your fuck. Face. But a gambling addict, you can hey, still man. look like normal, man. I know some chilled meth addicts, man. They're cool. I did, again I had this conversation the other day. Does anyone do meth in like London? I never, I've never seen crystal meth. <laughs> you don't hang around with the right people. Have you seen meth? I've been chilling with meth addicts from day. Are you lying? You know yeah. you haven't. No, I haven't. No. Yeah. Have you ever seen meth? I don't think so, no. I've never seen meth either. But I've never seen heroin either. I've seen heroin a few times. Really? Yeah. I hang out down in that cool day, crowd, bro. bro. <laughs> I do, chase yeah. that dragon. You do, I know. That's all I do, man. I'm a dragon chaser. Um, no, I've, I've seen, I remember I went to Cornwall to visit my cousin and his next door neighbor, his mum was like a heroin addict and he was, he brought some down in like some foil. I was like, hey guys, look. And we were just like, what does it look cut like? from us. It's like brownie, like brownie powdery sort of. Oh, it's a powder, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. I imagined it would be something that looked like a bit like hash and you like melt it down. Yeah. I mean, it's a faded memory, isn't it? It was something brown in foil. Yeah, do you know? And then I've seen it in a syringe before when <coughs> someone's been. S- do you know what I've noticed them. about uh, your your bunning? Yeah, yeah. It brings you down a it brings you down a notch. Oh yeah, 
you go from like quite intense to mm. yeah man like yeah, a little yeah. bit more on the deep which is why I like, whenever I'm arguing with Faye I have to I have to as soon as possible bun a zoot just to stop myself being like yeah that. you're less highly strong when you're high mm-hmm. but that's probably a, a problem pro- problem problem that the bunnings created in some ways yeah I agree not entirely but in not some entirely ways. but it adds to that yeah mm-hmm. I agree I noticed it with some other people who are, yeah. who when they're not high they're very intense like, mm-hmm. I'm not very intense you're though. a very fucking intense right <laughs> I think that's a push. All no, right. you're not very intense, but like you're just more. I'm a laid out guy, mate. Yeah, you're yeah. you're quite laid back. Sometimes Shut up. You vary. Shut up. You're bipolar as fuck. But you you bite your tongue. What does that do? Is that just an OCD thing you have when you zoom out of the audio? Yeah. Yeah. I like to be able to see every, where we are. Mm. Do you remember you got obsessed with cleaning for a while? <laughs> yeah, I like cleaning. You tidy. <laughs> you tidied <laughs> your loft, and you were just so happy. <laughs> every day, I'm just gonna tidy my loft, bro. <laughs> Yeah, because it was a big job, man, and I, and I couldn't it. rest until it ended. And then I created more of a job out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to clean that part, you definitely which I didn't don't want it need to, to clean. It. Although, your room, in fact, your room is pretty clean. Mm, it is oh, what no. it is. Oh, it? you got rid of your bench press. No, it's in the attic. Oh, you go in the attic to mm-hmm. do that? I was going to say, you've been looking a bit smaller lately, man. I thought you might just got rid of it. What? Swans are sick. Yeah, they are. God, don't judge me. God, you're huge. Well, it's been nice chatting to you, mate. Are we calling it a night? Yeah, in Boulder, you know. Wow. Well, you didn't even talk about the monkeys that got cloned. No what current monkeys? events. What monkeys? Oh, my God. God. Monkeys were False cloned. False alarm, so. guys. <laughs> False fucking alarm. <laughs> Tell me more. Mon- Tell me more. Monkeys were cloned, bro. Monkeys. Can you steer the ship for like five seconds while I pee? Oh, or are God, you going to no. have a panic attack? No, I'm going to have a massive panic attack. Are you going to have a meltdown? Are you like a serious meltdown? <laughs> <laughs> what, just carry... Just tell the fans about I the just carry it for, yeah, you for carry five the minutes. Oh, my God, the, God, the pressure. Oh, I'm going to go oh, I'm gonna go pee. You're going to steer the ship for two and a half minutes. Wow. Think when you're uh, an artist, bro. Ooh, you got you got to... Uh, okay, okay. you got to uh, okay. also entertain the crowd for okay. a couple minutes. All right. Wow, my heart is flying. This is a great test. Oh, my God. And I will oh be listening God. afterwards to see how long. No, I don't listen to it afterwards. Right. God, Guys, I swear to two, God, I'm on, like gets, a, a minor meltdown version. If he gets... All right, we're going to give Jordan a minute because he's a little anxious. Uh, if he gets too depressing or starts telling you the world's going to end, just skip oh my two God. minutes. God, he's already being unprofessional. God, what am I yeah, doing? Skip Where did two that minutes. come from? I'm going to pee. God, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, guys. <laughs> Just, just Jordan. How about that ride? Hey, what? Uh, what? How about that ride in? <laughs> How about that ride in, guys? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm panicking a little bit. But yeah. Here we go. Monkeys got cloned. Using techniques created for the dolly the sheep. God, I can't carry this alone. He steers the ship. You know? I'm just sort of a passenger on this ride. Um... Yeah. I'm just a passenger. God, I can't start singing while he's gone. Um, Yeah, hopefully um, this doesn't happen again. Because (laughs) we all know that this is not a recipe for success. Um, Yeah, it's all all uphill from here now. Um, But yeah, these monkeys, super cute. Super cute. They look a little deformed. Um, They got wrinkly faces which are which are rather lovely to look at we're probably going to have to cut this out how do people do their own podcasts I don't understand god you must be some charismatic charismatic individuals um I feel like I can hear him coming back but um that might be a false alarm that's just me being very hopeful um yeah anyway that's got to be him All right well, the long-awaited return of the uh, captain, the uh, the cabin boy, is uh, very much <laughs> struggling here. Well, close the fucking door, you mug. Um, yeah, uh, come back, save the podcast. Boring, yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was boring. 
We might have to cut it out. To we might have to cut it out. We might have to cut it out. Did you bore your monkeys? Out. No, I didn't even talk about the monkeys. Yeah. I, just, I panicked and just <laughs> went on like a self-loathing sort of... <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. God's sake. God. You, we might have oh, to, that was long, we bro. We might have to demote you to editor, boy. Oh, my God. And I just talk I'm and you, still, you I'm, add a little thing in. That might have to happen. You know what? It became blatantly clear who steers the ship. Oh, I'm the steerer. You're the uh, you're <laughs> wow. the cabin boy. You're mopping the that's deck. That's right. Yeah, that's you're how I ended it. You're mopping the deck. Yeah. yeah. And I'm steering. All right. Current events. Current events. They're events currently happening. Happening right now. In your hometowns. Not necessarily, though. But some of you, that will be your hometown. Brought to you live. Live and direct. Even though we're not live. Live and direct. Nor are we direct. Nor are we erect. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because we are sponsored by... Camagra. Segway. What you Stay saying? hard. What you saying? Get some. Current event number one. <coughs> Hit us. Let me clear the old thorax. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. Philip Neville Sexist tweet Leave him alone guys Philip Neville I can't stop Once It was like seven years ago If you didn't have a problem with it then You don't have a problem with it now Who digs this up though man Do you know when you like take a Bitter job Bitter people This is what's going to happen to me I'm going to get my fucking job And they're going to be like Yeah but he has this podcast Where he talks about dicks all the time <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to have to like tweet this out This is going to have to get You're going to have guys. to bury this As Fuck far on the ground as This you is can. who I am you don't like it. What's the word? Beat um, it. Beat just it. beat it. Yeah, what do you think of old just Phil, man? It. Very random that you just got beat the uh, England women's job. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all dodgy white. Yeah, the dodgy shit, man. He's a, he's a dodgy, shifty fella. Is that fella. your uh, intellectual opinion? Yeah, man. Like dodgy shit, yeah. He's a dodgy, shifty fella. He is shifty. He's, <laughs> he's shifty. a wheeler dealer. He's just in Gary. He's been in Gary's shadow for so <laughs> long now. It's just like, like Gary gets the Valencia job, he takes the England women's job. It's, like, ugh, it's tough, man. No, but I, I, I don't get this bringing up a tweet from seven years ago, though. Nah. And also, like, everyone really cares about women's football, so it's a big job. <laughs> no, because they get like loads of Why fans. Why are you doing no, that? They get loads of, like, no, come on, man. We've got so many f- females. No, but they get loads of like people. They fill out audience. every stadium they play in. Like they sell out Wembley all the time. D- um, right, next current event, bro. Are they even prefer? <laughs> I'm such a way. Are You're they- so horrible. Are they? Uh, are they professionals? The ladies. Yeah, some of them. Some of them. I think. <laughs> I don't think they are. I don't know if they are. Well, not. shut up, man. Sorry, Next current man. event, man. Sorry, man. Are you taking this down? So you don't think Phil's in the wrong? You're, Look, so I, don't, I don't you're condone sexist. the message he sent out there, yeah? Oh, but sexist. I don't see why we're making a big deal of it now. Like, he was famous seven years ago, bro. You know what well, I mean? Well, we're making a big deal now because he... So, uh, his... his um, Say he... I'm not saying he is or isn't, but say he was sexist back then. He's not working with all female athletes. That's why it's a big deal now. And he deleted his Twitter, so he obviously thought it was a, a big Did deal. Did he delete it? Uh-huh. When? Like the day after it came out. Oh, right. Yeah. Not the day after he tweeted it, though. No, he tweeted it years ago. Yeah, exactly. What did he even so tweet? So he just deleted what was it, it exactly because the whole t- world started attacking him. He tweeted something about a woman should be in the kitchen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was in poor taste. It was in poor taste. It was, you know what? It was a shit joke. That's yeah, the, that's I remember reading it and it wasn't even that funny. No, but it wasn't funny at all. Up your banner. It was actually a terrible joke. Like there was it, like it was zero punchline to Got it. Got like seven retweets and four likes. Regardless of your shallow social media <laughs> ranking, <laughs> <laughs> it's a shit joke. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. Move on. Move Philip, on. do better though. <clears throat> Who said do better that I've just that you brought in and now I've just completely me. No, but it was well. You, you got stole it, it. Well, you got it from yeah, me. Yeah, that's but, what you need to no, know. No, but I just said that. Yeah, but I'm saying, but for who did you get it? You from? You don't need to know that. You just need to know that you got it from me. Oh, shut up. Uh, Roger Federer won his twentieth Grand Slam singles men's title. He became the second oldest winner of the Australian Open and the joint leading winner of Australian Open titles. What about Clay though? Clay, he's I think he's won one. 
Rafa yeah. wins all the clay. But I'm working on clay. Why are you going straight to clay? We're not talking about clay. <laughs> <laughs> you, your brief tennis knowledge. Like, is he, is he running on clay? What about clay, Vlad? Can he do it on a sunny, on a dark night in Stoke? Um, Stoke don't have no clay tennis court. Is Roger Federer the greatest sportsman of all time? We were talking about this on our group chat. No. Me and you both are <laughs> <laughs> the greatest sportsman of all time. <laughs> Tell them, John. All right. Look this guy up guys if you uh um, if you don't know which you won't because you all have social lives what's his uh, name it's jahan gear khan jahan do you want to spell that for the listeners j-a-h-a-n-g-i-r khan k-a-h-n or h-a-n I don't, i've already lost it um yeah Jah- jahir khan where's he from he uh, i don't know i need to i need to search i think he's indian I yeah he, he might he be indian. pakistan though Weird that an uh, Indian guy is the um, greatest squash player of all time. Um, is it random? I don't think no, squash is played. They're anything. good at racket sports, man. Are they? Well, they, they're they decent at badminton and shit. Pardon? What? Are they decent at badminton? Yeah. How do you know that? Because I've seen them in the l- latter stages of the Olympic Games. Hmm. He is from Pakistan, yeah. Pakistan? Yeah. But he went unbeaten for six years and won 555 matches in a row. Greatest sportsman of all time. It, 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 no one has ever dominated a sport the way Jahan Gear Khan He's definitely has. the greatest sportsman that no one's ever fucking heard of all time. 100%. Mm, that, that's rude. I've, he's got a massive cult following. How many Instagram followers has he got? He's not on 19. Instagram. He's got 19 Instagram followers. That's just a photo of him and his nan well, with his squash racket. Look, let's put it this way. Yeah? His full match... He's a full hour and a half match of his mm. gets 200,000 views. That's not bad. On YouTube. That's not bad. That's pretty good. God, I'm sorry, Jaya. The man the man is known. The man is known. <laughs> the the man, man is known. Is known. You can't tell me who the fuck is that guy. What's going on with my boy Connor, man? Didn't they take the belts? <laughs> God, not, no one really fucking knows. I thought that's what it came. They Dana's said the like, day. yeah, uh, this fight is for the the belt, and then so someone's like, so to clarify, has Conor been stripped? And he goes, I've already answered that, and they're like, well, can you just clarify? Well, no one knows what he means. He's like, Conor will come back and fight for the belt. It's like, okay, so is Conor going to champion? He's like, I've already like he wouldn't answer. Well, if who's fighting for the belt? Uh, Ferguson and Khabib. So obviously that he's been stripped. Well, no, because Ferguson's the interim champion already, so no one knows what they're fighting for. Oh, okay. So. Is there a belt for being the interim champion? Yeah, you get the interim belt, and did they already have one ready, or did they make that specially? No, no, he fought. Um, do you remember that guy Kevin Lee? The no, black but I'm dude, saying, is they? that like a thing that's happened before interim champion? Yeah, they, right? yeah, like <laughs> it used to be like if a champion was injured for like a year okay. and he was supposed to fight, then yeah. the next day do it. Now they just fucking do it all the time, just mm. so they can advertise it as like yeah, a belt. Yeah, yeah. The UFC's become weird like that, so they can do their little five minute round things. Well, also so they can advertise it as a title fight. A so fight the fight. average viewer it, goes, oh they, shit, it's a title yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. But like they were saying, like, this hurts their product because like the average guy is like, I thought Connor was a champion. And they're like, oh yeah, he is. But wait, what, isn't he? Like no one fucking knows yeah. what's going on. I've always found that a bit confusing in, in boxing and in, in all the, the yeah, boxing But that's and why UFC, the UFC used to be so good though. They because there was such, just one. It's so confusing all the different belts because there's belts for the same weights and shit. Not like, in the, yeah, but not in the UFC there wasn't. There's was always just one guy. Oh, okay. That's why UFC was like kind of, that's kind of why the UFC became um, like why it became so took, popular took because fans yeah, like boxing right. used to be like that. There was just one guy. He was the champ. Mm. Like in boxing, everyone's got a fucking belt. Mm, bullshit. You could probably roll on in and get it. I'll give you a little belt. I've already got a couple. Have you? Mm-hmm. Well, I've got me and Super Jar featherweight. Here. I'm getting trained by Jar here, Khan. Super duper troop of featherweight. Do you remember we were going to set you oh. up with, uh, you were going to be the next Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that'll be another phase. Or maybe in another life. Maybe. Mm. Anyway, next current event. Federer, yeah. greatest sportsman of all time. No. Who is then? And they don't fucking say the squash. High <laughs> <laughs> five five. five. <laughs> um, he's I'm definitely up there, man. He's, oh, he's, 100% he's in the up conversation. There. He's the, oh, he's in the conversation. Greatest tennis player, 100,000 million percent. I feel like, I mean, Usain's in there. Um, <sighs> is Mo Farah in there? The man runs like nah, an animal. I don't think he's the greatest of all time. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah. Um... Messi's got to be in there. 
Or Ronaldo. Never won a World Cup. Uh, never won a World Cup. They've never, they've never won the pinnacle of their sport. <sighs> Federer has won twenty. Yeah, but it's a different sort of. Thing. Yeah, no, I'm just it's being so a dick. different. It is different. Um, if we're talking just athlete, like when you say LeBron or something, like to me, what he's won is nothing. But no, athlete is, is different to sportsman, though. Okay. Oh, right. So we're not including people who play games. What do you mean games? Like basketball, football, that like we're just saying like athletes, like athletics. No, we're saying best athlete of all time. Yeah. But then you wouldn't take LeBron there. Yeah, I would. LeBron is a better athlete than most of the fucking dudes running the well, four so hundred is, meters. Well, I mean, Usain Bolt is a better yeah, athlete than. I disagree. Really? Why? Uh, Why? I think LeBron's still more athletic, man. Oh, uh, maybe. It's yeah. definitely close. I just yeah. for me, it's LeBron. What man. about um, like some of the football players? Uh, football. American football. Oh yeah, the American football. That's what I'm saying. They're the best athletes in the world. The American football. Yeah, players. man. If you. If you're a huge, fast... Ben golfers. If you're a giant wedge, fast dude in school, yeah? You're not going to play the 100 metres. You're going to go and play NFL. Yeah. Every single fucking time. It's the same reason why the why uh, MMA doesn't get the best athletes. Because, okay, you can get punched in the face for good money or not get punched in the face for unbelievable, rich as fuck money. Mm. Like, the, the NFL, NBA, they attract the best athletes. Yeah. In the world, period. What about squash? The if squash Usain leagues. Bolt could have, he'd have played NFL. Guarantee. Mm. Squ- Stop going back to fucking squash. <laughs> Do I hear whatever the fuck is not a best athlete? Um. All right. Next current event. You ready to admit it's Roger? Michael Fedor? Phelps says. Oh, it's Phelps, 100% is Phelps is up. Yeah, Phelps yeah, is yeah, up there. Yeah. Well, I said my top ten. Uh, I'll read out my top ten. Yeah, but you put like Maradona in there. You don't think Maradona's out there? He's a little fat cokehead. head. <laughs> 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 uh, great footballer, but Ronaldo is a better athlete than Maradona could ever have been. Correct. So is Messi. Messi and Maradona are pretty similar. Yeah, but he's not a little fat cokehead. He's a magical young. All right, I'll stallion. read. I'll, this is what I'll do. I'll read out my top ten, and then you have to agree. You have to just say. Agree or disagree? All right. Okay. Go. One sec. Sorry. I'm still having nightmares about when you left me alone. Did you really panic? Oh, mate. I was like, I knew how bad it was as it was happening. (laughs) (laughs) What are you going to do when you're on stage, bro? You got to get used to this. This is good practice. Panic. Crumble. (laughs) Run and know that I can finally move on from this pipe (laughs) dream. All right, number one, Michael Jordan. Mm. Yeah. Agree? Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Michael Phelps. Yeah. Tiger Woods. No. You don't put Tiger Woods top 10 of all time. Top 10. Top 10 of all time. Sportsman. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Tiger Woods. Yeah, but he plays golf, bro. Yeah. You keep fucking... Busting over a squash player. Oh, man, runs. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Woods is in there. Uh, Maradona. No. Roger yeah, Federer. Yeah. LeBron James. Yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Tom Brady. No. And Pele. Yeah. No Tom Brady. You haven't watched any of Tom Brady, so I'm not, I'm not accepting Bond, your opinion. Wayne Gretzky, bro. I haven't fucking watched enough Wayne Tom Brady to Gretzky. put him in there either. Is Gretzky the, uh, nice the hockey. hockey player? Yeah. All right, next current event. Those are the top ten. I've said it. It's official. Don't listen to him, guys. It's Jahan. Yeah. We're getting into <laughs> <laughs> we're getting into a little uh, little awesome chat now, mate. Uh, we're segmenting on over. I'll say it's been no, a while. I'll say it's been no, a while. I'll say no. I'll say no. I'll say no. I'll say no. I wanted one more verse. Um, a Bamiang. Yeah, we did because it needed the oh say no or uh, Bamiang. Oh Bamiang. He misses training, causes rifts in the dressing room. That's why we want him. He's me. <laughs> he used to be good, man. So, you know, let's wait till he's shit and then sign him up. Best time to buy him is on the decline. I'm excited, man, for a Bamiang. I am. But you know what's weird? It's the yeah. same with Lacazette. I got why? excited about Lacazette when we first got Why him does no one else want him, though? That's why I get like a bit like, hmm, like, why does no one else want him? 
Why don't Chelsea want him? They're crying out for a striker. They're too busy buying Crouch and Barnes from Burnley. Because it's going to be a Lacazette again, man. He's just going to be this sort of... And this is my other worry. This is my other fucking worry. Big fish, small pond. Who's, who's playing left wing, Lacazette or Aubameyang? Because you know he ain't going to play two up front. So he's going to he's gonna put one of them out of position, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Aubameyang, probably. Mm-hmm. So instantly our most expensive transfer of all time will be playing out of position. Mm-hmm. He'll be replacing Sanchez, I guess. It's just exciting to have a new player, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's just, I, I can't wait it. for yeah, him yeah, to yeah. come. It's this amazing. Great. Yeah, no, we no, never no, might, and exciting. also, we've got rid of Coquelin, yeah, which yeah. I'm happy about. Mm. We've got rid of Theo, mm. which I'm happy about. Mm. We got rid of Ox in the summer, which I'm happy mm. about. Potentially getting rid of Giroud, which I'm happy about. Mm, like and Giroud. we got rid of Sanchez, who, although is amazing, wasn't happy and was causing shit at our team. Mm. Did you see what El Nenny tweeted out? No. He tweeted out, uh, so after that Chelsea, picture. no, he goes, uh, finally we have everyone who wants to play for the badge play after oh. Sanchez had left. So that's yeah. how you know there was some little, yeah, uh, yeah, little yeah. rift going on. El Nenny, bro. Yeah, nah. You're not fit to tie his boots, mate. <laughs> El Nenny. Well, you're, the ne- you're, you're on the next shipment out, mate. <laughs> yeah, <El Nenny. laughs> fucking El Nenny. God. He loved the badge, though. He loves the fucking badge. <laughs> he instantly became a legend. Like all the Arsenal fans like read to him like, God, El Nenny. Ledge. Fucking love what's it. His, what's his first name? I think it's Mohammed. Oh, it's Mohammed, yeah. Mohammed. Mahmoud. Um, Egyptian that... Messi, right? No, Egyptian Kadira. Egyptian Kadira. Salah's the Egyptian Messi. Salah's the Egyptian Messi. He's amazing, Salah. Love that guy. I wish we'd he bought got, him. Yeah, see Sane getting chopped up yesterday by Cardiff. Mm. I read it in the sun when I was getting my hair cut today. Mm, I heard it on the radio. I didn't see it. On the radio? <laughs> I don't watch football. Neither do I. i a fake fan. I am excited for a bowing. You know what's More Jake's of the story, though, I'm excited. Because when I'm at the pub, everyone's always talking about football and I still chime in like I know better than everyone. Yeah. And then they like they say something I was like, I, I haven't watched a game in like four weeks. Do you know what I've realised though? Uh, fighting and football, everyone thinks they have these opinions. Like, do you know when you watch like... Uh, you watch like a fucking, I don't know, like a Mayweather fight back in there. Everyone be in the room. Mm. Everyone's, oh, why isn't he doing that? Why isn't he doing that? None of you know what he should be doing. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, the guy who fights every day knows what he should yeah, be doing. Yeah, was great though. It's the same thing. On the side. you got to shoot there. Yeah, what are you doing there? Like, Come on, mate. Because we all played football when we were 13. Like, we all yeah. think we know. Like, so oh, true. Oh, God, right? I know. So do I. About I fighting. Know. I know about football. I am I wonder I know why. Football. I sometimes think, why don't fighters come to me for advice? Just tweet at me, man. I'm there. Yeah. I'll answer yeah. as well. Just tell you a few things, man. I, I went up to a guy because I swear he wanted to sign me up after I played Power League the other day. I was oh, like, yeah. what did, oh, the, Were you watching me? Yeah. Uh, and then he was like, oh, no, mate. I, how did, how did uh, Power League go? God, I'm just class. Were you class, yeah? No, I'm terrible. Was so you, rusty. Were you really shit? No, I wasn't really shit. I was just pretty rusty. Huh? Would you say you were the best player there? No. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I was... I was <laughs> ego steps in. <laughs> Reality talks, then ego steps No, I was definitely the most... But that's because I was the youngest, though. So, like... Fuck off the youngest. You're 26 years old. Yeah, but I was the youngest one there. So? So I'm saying that, like, some of them you can tell might have been good back in the day. Oh, so you... Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying I was the youngest, so I couldn't be as good as the older people. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, like, I'm saying I'm the youngest, either. so it's no wonder that I right. was... Right. They're all old and past it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. I thought you were like, oh, I'm too young. No, to no, 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 no. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, obviously, yeah, no, I could you. run past people pretty easily and shit, but I was off cue so with shooting and mm. shooting with poor. Shooting at power league's hard though. Them little goals. Like, I, know, I hate the little fucking yeah. goals. Because you want to bang it. The seven aside right. as well. I thought we'd have big goals. I like a big goal. Yeah, I like a big dirty goal. Mm. Mm. Slide on in. Is that dirty? But my, my little Fabregas chip over the top three balls were on point. I you could just like, lie to me. I'd never know. You could be like, oh, that guy's got a hat trick. Yeah, no, but I'm not about that life. L- no, I'm not. L- bro, I, I was doing some paying over the top three balls, but I was terrible on the floor three balls. Just couldn't get the power. Did they right play that life. nothing over head height? No. I hate that as well. What? You like it? No, I don't like that. Yeah, no, that's terrible. I hate those like, fake, they just bring in like fake yeah. rules that don't exist. No, but that's on the small pitches though. Oh, you play on the big we, pitch? It was a big pitch. Seven yeah. side side on a full size pitch? No, it wasn't full. It wasn't that big. It was just bigger than a little how long power. Was the, how long did you play for? An hour? Yeah. I kind of want to come. I can't really bring you in though. Bring me in, man. I don't know anyone but Stu. Just bring me in. I can't do that. Just bring me in, man. I didn't even have to pay. It was great. Hey, 
bring me in, man. Yeah. Quality Suddenly you start playing and they all come out of the woodwork. I've been trying to get people to play for weeks. I'm a quality defender. No, I'd, I'd like you at left back. Ugh. I'm right footed. <laughs> Don't stick me at left back. Yeah, left back in the changing rooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was getting at. I know you were. I was wait. I said it before you hurt me. <laughs> I said it before it feelings got hurt. Good, good. Um, so yeah, uh, Bamiang with thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, man. Hundred percent. Great, exciting. S- still like it. Aren't addressing any of the issues of defense, defensive mid, but fuck it. You know, I don't care at this point. So I'm just excited to have something new. Yeah. Like, great, nice. He's Charming. so quick. All right. Well, Josh jokes. Finger out. Never seen him play ninety minutes. Could be <laughs> shit. But yeah, fuck <laughs> it. You're good on FIFA. You're good in my book. Um, final current event. Ooh. Let's have one more. Ooh. Cambodian arrest. You heard about this? Nope. So some tourists uh, have been arrested in Cambodia for sexy dancing. 12 months. Ago. Yeah, I did hear about this. So police came in. They they said well, it was they, Thailand. No, it's Cambodia. They said it wasn't them, but so they were doing uh, pornographic dance moves. Is how they yeah, but did, did you see the picture? Was it just doggy style? With they, clothes no, on? they were all like missionary on the floor. It was really Do weird. they have clothes on? Yeah. So what's illegal? Is it yeah. like against the Cambodian laws to doggy style? I don't know, they just probably just don't like people just being loud, drunk and white. Yeah. I don't know. We're a nasty culture. We're brutes. We just travel the world just doggy styling. Oh, it was, your, it was a great dry. holiday. It was only three pound a pint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so classic. it's when Faye said, she goes, uh, I said something, oh, I had this, this, and she goes, it's so English, like count your drinks as well. Yeah, I love like it. Four doubles, couple of shots. Yeah, put a triple on the side. Ended Tracy, with a Tracy behind the bar was fucking loving it. She was, mate. <laughs> <laughs> she was giving me them suck your balls dry look. Oh, dirty, dirty girl. But yeah, um, Party. it's pretty fucked up though, man. What? That they're going to prison for a year. Like. Oh hell yeah, man! These backwards cultures out there. Sorry, <laughs> that is really that's. I mean. In in some regards, they're very backwards. I don't backtrack. You've just s- spat all over the Cambodian culture. No, I loved Cambodia. I loved it was Cambodia. it was pretty ghetto, but I loved it. I loved Cambodia. Angkor Wat was one of the best places I've ever been in my life. Uh-huh. Truly stunning. Although a few hot dog stands, <laughs> maybe, go, maybe a taco stand miss. wouldn't go amiss. If you could sell less beads. And more quality <laughs> snacks. <Yeah. laughs> then we can really we can really start fucking with it. And this some shit. shops are just like, I love Angkor what t shirts. I'm down yeah, for I'm that. I'm sure too. they had that. Not there, Not but enough, in, around. I want them on every temple. Every temple has its own uh no, truck of silly. different food. No, just the little girls. I'm saying that they could make a much better profit if they had a little snack bag with like quality snacks. They actually genuinely could. But they used to sell pineapple. Rather than them beads, bro. They used to sell pineapple. But then they want food. They don't. They they're giving all like yeah. Know, they don't really they're want selling those beads because they don't have food. Yeah, they can't be giving us food. Uh, mm. Eating all the product. Shit. Man. I feel like if you sold weed, you just smoke all your product. No, most of it. <laughs> <laughs> the majority of it. <laughs> Why am I losing money? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, my current events, man. It's all right. I I like what you've done there. Thanks, mate. I'm looking forward to uh, next week's edition. They're always good. Always, Always good. good. I've been really slacking on research lately. I gave us yeah. cloned monkeys, but then I really didn't deliver it well while you were out of the room. I, I'm looking forward. We go as soon as this finishes. We're going back and listening. That's so how I can laugh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Were you panicking while you were speaking? Yeah. <laughs> were you? <laughs> it was like sincere panic. <laughs> I could feel the second. Do you know when I used to have to give presentations? I'd be panicking so much that. I didn't know what I was saying. And then I'm like, I wonder what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I kind of... Words that are coming kind of out. Going but like, on, yeah. Oh, God. I kind of want you to, like, fuck off so I can take over to see if I'd be good. Should we just... I'm just going to leave you to it for a couple of minutes to finish the podcast. Ask goodbye, guys. It was nice but, uh, having the evening with you. And but uh, give until me, next week. But give me uh, an event, a current event to describe. That's not what you did for me. Yeah, you were doing the monkey clone. Oh, fuck's sake. Shit. All right. Give me a sec. Give me a current event. Um, current. Give you a current event that's current. What one that's currently happening? Just anything. They're crying out loud. Oh God! Ah, oh, the old stretcheroo. 
Do you um, type in current event? I just type in news station. No, no, no. I was just uh, texting someone back. Sorry. No, oh, fuck. Um, no. All right. Um, Can it be sporty? So I was like, oh. no. Well, you're just oh, they in Israel. No, I'm just not no. Gonna I was going to say London's busiest tube line is set to deliver more and frequent trains. Well, thank you, Jordan, for giving me a super interesting current event and uh, one that everyone really cares about. What is the tube line? The Northern Line. The Our Northern line. line. The Black Line. The Black Line. A little bit racist. I call it the Multicultural Line. No, you don't speak anymore. You end on a racist note. Um, yeah, well done, TFL. The Northern Line has regularly been, uh, some would say, catastrophic line. Regular delays. Um, and I, I encourage more tubes in London. And also, let's do something about the drunks on the tubes as well. We've all been sexually abused by a, an intoxicated man on the train. Let's do more about that. Let's do more about safety. Let's do more about standards. Let's do more about the seating. Do you know what really grinds my gears, Jordan? When people don't give up their seats for old people on trains. Let's do more about that. Let's introduce a fine if you don't give up your seat. No? You don't like that? Yeah, because then you, you're forcing people. Do you know who made a good point? See, I'm segueing off here. We don't need you in this podcast. You just take a, take a back seat. I'll have a coffee. Don't make me a coffee. Um, Jay-Z was talking about um, the uh, NFL owner who... Yeah, I can't remember word for what he said now, but he came out with something racist and they did something like they took his team away or something like that. And he was saying that doesn't address the problem. Um, and it also scares all the closet ra- racists run back into their closet. He's like, what we should have done is address the issue by talking to him, hearing his point, having a debate about it. when you just like punish someone for having ignorant views, it doesn't actually address the root problem. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Jay-Z. Jay-Z looks kind of old now as well. He looks a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Less suave than he wants to. Hair could do with a little trim. He's still a suave man, though. He's still a suave man. He got caught. Um, he was at the Globes. Him and Beyonce were talking about his cheating for the first time. <clears throat> it was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Any more current events you want me to cover, mate? So I, I can do this all day. All fucking day. All day I can go, Joe. But yeah, I'm going to uh, wrap it up, guys. As always... Oh, he's back now. No, he's back now. Hello. He's back. Hello. He's how back. how hard is it? Tell me the truth, though. It's not fun on your Didn't own. find it hard. Not hard, but it's not fun. Okay. Not fun. Shut up, man. Fuck you. It's hard. Hashtag All right, guys. Natural. Have a good night. What if they were listening to this during the day? Have a good time. <laughs> Bye, guys. I hope you, enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the episode I did. Reba.